Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I am your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we'll be reacting to Attack on Titan, the final season, episode 3. And in the last episode, we continue right from where we left off with Eden in a pretty bad spot. He just finished getting pinned down by Reiner using one of his own spikes that he created. We also have Porco bouncing around, striking him from all different angles, and we also had Peak, who was posted super far away out of Eden's range and she was just firing straight through his dome. Things were looking really bad for him but we did see this cool scene where Mikasa and Armin don't believe that he's actually as bad as he came off back when they bumped into him and so they're coming now to help him out, support him, but they're not the only ones coming to support our boy Eden. Just when it seemed like all hope was lost, Big Brother Zeke finally makes his appearance. He lends a helping hand and just starts chucking rocks all over the place. And these rocks ripped through Reiner, they ripped through Porco, and when it comes to Peak, things are very, very interesting right now. So Peak kind of got caught off guard by some of the Jaegerists, and so she, I don't know how she came up with this plan so quickly, but they decided to climb on top of the wall and then pretend like she was dead using the steam that comes from the what do you call it the quadrupedal titan there was steam that was like making a smoke screen for them and then while everyone thought they were dead that's when they started operating the little cannon on top of her back and that's when they hit zeke who was also standing on the wall and i guess you could say this hit was a critical hit because not only did it pierce the beast titan's shoulder but it also hit zeke inside of the beast titan as well so they both started collapsing down the wall they fell and it it seems like he's completely immobile, but all hope is not lost yet because Eden, although he's in bad shape, he can still move and all he needs to do is touch Zeke. So he's on his way over to him right now and I hope that in this episode we'll finally be able to see what Eden's true plan was from the start, but there's only one way to find out. If you guys are excited for the episode, make sure to leave a like. It'll help me and the video out so much more than you might think. So if you could take the time to do that real quick, I would very much appreciate it. And also consider subscribing to the channel for more weekly Attack on Titan reactions. And with that all out of the way, let's get right into this episode. Alright, so here I have episode 3 pulled up, but real quick before we get into it, two quick things. First one is going to be, if you would like to check out the uncut reaction to this episode, you can find that over on my Patreon, which you guys can join for only $2. And not only do you get access to all of these Attack on Titan reactions, but also all of the other series that I'm currently reacting to, and that I will react to in the future. And then the second thing is, if you would like to stay notified whenever I drop a brand new reaction, make sure to click that big red subscribe button. It only takes five seconds and it is completely free So if you find yourself enjoying one of my reactions and you're trying to think of a way to show your support That is the quickest easiest and freest way to do so But whenever you guys are ready, we'll be starting this episode in Three two one go Oh Man see it if you've if you're a like long time fan of the channel you know what I always say whenever we start with the opening. They're trying to get the opening out of the way so that we can get straight into the action. This episode, I'm guessing, is going to be action-packed, and they don't want to interrupt a second of it with this opening. So they're getting it over with now so that we can just jump straight into it, man. I can't wait. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention is the fact that uh, Falco has finally been reunited with Gabby at long last. And he even went out of his way to confess his feelings to her. But there's also kind of like a sad side to it. Because we know the only reason why he's confessing his feelings is because he knows the wine is currently in his system. And any moment, whenever Zeke wills it, he could transform into a titan and completely lose himself. So he wanted to kind of cross off... Does that make sense? Cross off everything on his bucket list? He wanted to uh, confess his feelings to her before or while he still has the chance. So I'm hoping that they don't do that to Falco. 
but knowing this series, like, this series has a long track record of killing off lovable characters. I mean, just, just look at my shirt. Like, <laughs> that's enough evidence right there. Two brothers. Probably talking about Zeke and Eden. Yep, so we're getting just a little bit of a recap. Eden's making his way over there. Yeah, I knew they weren't going to let him go that easily. Ooh! Hey, are we going to... Jesus Christ, man! <laughs> Dude! Ooh! Oh my god! He's hitting his nape! He's crushing his neck! And Peek still has more left in the tank. Jesus, man. Yep. Now you guys gotta cut her down for real. Because last episode, they were like, hey, nice job taking her out. Wait, I thought you guys took her out. Bunch of clowns, man. All right, I can't wait, man. It's been a little while since we've seen Mikasa in action. And we also have the Colossal Titan. So I wonder if Armin's gonna um, make his move anytime soon. Yeah, you're not the only ones with guns. Dang, we got rockets, too. <laughs> and then there's Yelena being Yelena. Ooh! That blast left a mark, dude. Jesus. Oh, wow. I thought it just pierced straight through his shoulder, but it looks like it hit him at an angle. And that's why... Zeke's back is completely torn off. He can't handle that in alone. Oh, man. Oh, Jesus Christ. I thought his face was just, like, darkened and bloody, but now we get a pretty clear shot. There's an entire, like, I don't know, like an entire chunk of his head that's missing. Oh, no. Falco! Oh, dude, and then saved him. Holy crap! Wow, and look at that expression on Zeke's face. Jeez, man. The feels right now. What are you going to do? Oh, 
Oh my god. Don't. Oh, he did it. He did it. He's doing what he has to do. As much as he doesn't want to do this, he doesn't really have any other option. Oh god, Falco, man. Oh, you can already see it! Oh man, ah, oh, dude. All of them. See, this is why you don't drink, guys. <laughs> this is why I don't mess with alcohol. <laughs> this exact reason. Jesus Christ! It's like the entire city just got carpet bombed. Now the Marlanes don't stand a chance. Jesus, all these innocent people turned into complete mindless monsters. Man. Is that- is that him? Oh, wow, it is. Oh, man, I almost- oh, my heart right now. Like, I- I can't even explain how much it hurts to see Falco like that. Just like- Oh, and his brother got toasted to a crisp. Oh, he actually looks a lot like Armin did. When he got caught in the steam of the, um, the Colossal Titan. Oh my god. Dude, I just, it's, it's so hard because seeing the resemblance between Falco and this Titan and just knowing the, the good kid that he was, it's unfair, man. Why do bad things happen to good people? Oh, and it looks like Peak took advantage of this sort of distraction to get another shot in on Zeke. Oh my god, Eden. He is heated. He is livid right now. Here's Mikasa. Ooh! That was smooth! Bro, the, the backwards, she didn't even look at them! Oh my god! This episode is kinda nuts, hold on. I'm not gonna lie, so far, the final season part 2 started off- It started off alright, it was pretty cool. But this episode is insane. And Gabby. She lost another friend. Her last friend. <gasps> oh! I didn't even think of that! If Falco eats him, then he'll become the Armored Titan and he'll regain his sense of self. But he's changing his mind? Porco? Oh, is he gonna eat Porco? Wait, why did he decide to change his mind? What in the world? Ah, oh, man. Jesus. Why are these deaths always so freaking brutal, man? Oh, and Reiner is heated. 
Oh! He dipped! Now he's closer than ever. Oh, so we used our own trick against her. Oh, he's not done yet, though. Can he make it? Oh, yeah, the backup support. Let's go. Dude, honestly, I mean, I was never really super attached to Porco. <gasps> Gabby! Put the gun down, put the gun down, Gabby. You've done enough damage as it is. Don't make this any worse. Come on, remember. Remember, don't make the same mistake twice. <gasps> oh my god! Jesus Christ! Is... What? He's he's not dead, is he? I mean, he's not. Oh my god! I just I don't even know what to think right now. There's no way Eden's dead, right? There's still so much of the series left to go. Wow. It's sounding a lot like he's uh, aligned with the euthanasia plan. <clears throat> Jeez, this episode. It went from, like, intense, or it went from cool to intense to Jesus Christ, what the hell am I watching right now, dude? I'm just at a loss for words. Damn. Wow, I actually love this slow motion. It looks so cool. Is it time? You're mere steps away now. Oh, wait, I forgot his head. I completely forgot he got his head blown off. How did I forget the- <gasps> Jesus Christ! Dude, all of this in episode 3? We're only on episode 3! And that's the girl that saved Zeke. Was that Ymir? The first one? Coordinate where all paths converge.
Oh, wow. Oh, so, so he actually is dead, at least, like, his physical body is dead, and it is the original Ymir. I like that attention to detail with the long nails. It shows he's been here for a long time. Without any fingernail clippers. Does he truly share that dream, though? The vow renouncing war. Yeah, so now the decision truly is solely in Eden's hands. And it's up to him what he wants to do with this power. I don't think he's going to do it. I don't think he's going to do it, man. Except, oh, oh, I knew it! Oh, snap! So he played Zeke this entire time. Yep, so Armin was 100% right. But the question is, what's his real plan? What's he going to do with this power? You don't know that for sure. Wait, why does that line sound familiar? Because I was born in this world. Did he say that in one of the trailers? And she's going up to him. Wait! Wait! What's going on? She's going up to Zeke. So does Zeke truly have the power? And he was using Eden? Wow. Oh my god. I managed to nullify the vow renouncing war. Dang, so we just got double, triple mind, like, <laughs> what in the world? So she obeys those with royal blood. Dang. 
you were no more than the key. And now he's the one in chains. Dude, Zeke is, he is smart as heck, man. Holy crap, I just, I can't help but respect him. That was so clever. Oh, and what, are you going to be that person? Oh, and we saw that in the trailer! Dude, oh my god! This was nuts. This was nuts. 10 out of 10 episode. Easy. Easy. Let's just get that out of the way. That's the first thing I want to address. Man. So, first, first things first. We gotta talk about Falco. Because, holy crap, I completely forgot about that. Once Zeke started shouting, I thought we lost Falco forever. But I completely forgot that if a Titan eats one of the wielders of the special Titans, I forget what they're called, then they like regain their consciousness. So at first he was like biting at um, Reiner's nape and Reiner was about to give up and let Falco eat him and sacrifice himself. But then it turns out that Porco decided to sacrifice himself instead. So Falco ate Porco and now he's become, or he's going to become the new Jaw Titan. That's super interesting. And I'm actually, I mean, as, as much as it kind of sounds, uh, I don't know, cold to say, I'm kind of glad that Falco ate Porco instead of Reiner, just because I feel like I'm much more attached to Reiner. Like, Porco's very new. We haven't really had much time to, like, bond with him. Oh, snap. So I would have been much more devastated if Reiner was the one that died. And although Porco did go in a pretty cool fashion, he like died a warrior's death, his sacrifice hopefully won't be in vain. I'm sure it won't be in vain. But it seems like none of this even matters. Because, well, oh man, we're in such a bad spot right now, dude. We're in such a bad spot right now. Because, number one, Eden and Zeke ended up connecting. And I love that, like, plot twist that's kind of on top of another plot twist because at first I as well as I'm sure many of you guys thought that Eden was the bad guy way back when he bumped into Mikasa and Armin right before he brought them into that cell we all thought well I'm sure most of us thought that Eden was actually teaming up with the bad guys he was full on for the euthanasia plan and then Armin kind of proposes the idea that maybe he's not actually with Zeke and maybe he's just using Zeke to get that founding titan power and then he's gonna go with a different plan. But then they flip the script again because Zeke knew that, well he didn't know, well maybe he did. I don't think he knew that Eden was going to backstab him. But he prepared himself and set all of his chess pieces in place just in case he did backstab him. And now Zeke's the one on top. He he even said himself that Eren was just the key. And Ymir, she, um, I guess, prioritizes the person containing the royal blood over the person containing the founding titan. So that's why Zeke has all the power now. He's in complete control. And I don't know what he did there exactly, but as soon as they like butted heads, there was this big flash. And then in that ending scene right there, we see Eden, but he has like these glowing purple eyes, which I, like I said, I'm not 100% sure what's going on, but his eyes kind of reminded me of, um, what was her name? Was it Freya? 
I think she was the girl that had the founding titan. Wait, I don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was the girl that had the founding titan before Grisha, right? I think Grisha killed her, took the founding titan, and then he gave the founding titan to Eden. And this Eden that we saw in the ending scene with the glowing, like, purplish eyes, I don't know if it was the exact same color, but it reminded me a lot of Freya's eyes. And it would make sense because she was also a holder of the Founding Titan in the past. So, we're in a super interesting situation. And on top of that, like, is Eden dead dead? Like, is... I, I, I don't know what to think right now because we saw him get decapitated by Gabby. Which is actually kind of crazy. Like, what, what gun is powerful enough to completely rip your head off of your shoulders? Like, that's kind of nuts. And the fact that this little girl was able to wield that... Where the heck did she even get that from? I just, I have so many questions. I have so many questions. But, regardless, it happened. Eden's head got ripped off of his shoulders. And now... Like, I guess we're just gonna have to wait for answers in the next episode, but I'm really interested because we saw that Eden was standing there with the glowing purple eyes. So I don't know if like Eden's body was regenerated, but now Zeke has control or if that was still inside of whatever realm or dimension they're in right now that the founding um, that Ymir was in. I have no clue. I feel like this series could go a million different directions. Zeke might actually not enact his euthanasia plan. He might go with something completely differently. I mean, the power is completely in his hands, so he can do whatever he wants. And I, I guess we'll just have to wait and see, dude. But my question of the day for you guys is going to be, what are your thoughts on the whole um like a back and forth kind of like trap card on top of trap card that we saw between Eden and Zeke because I thought it was absolutely amazing when we um heard Eden kind of declare that he wasn't on Zeke's side I thought that was cool but at the same time Armin already kind of alluded to it so it was expected but then when Zeke ended up flipping the script again then that absolutely blew my mind because <laughs> i didn't think there were gonna be layers to this thing what an absolutely amazing episode i <laughs> i'm just i'm still at a loss for words i had so much fun watching through this and i can't wait to see where the series goes from here like i said the first two episodes they were cool but nothing really super crazy happened it was just your typical titan slugging it out but here man this is a whole nother level before this i said that demon slayer has anime of the year in the bag and it still might but attack on titan is closing that gap real quick so we'll have to see with the end of this series but with that, I'm going to be ending the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching this far into the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Tell me your thoughts on the episode down below and subscribe for more Slice Shona content. And with that, I am going to head out. So I'll catch you all in the next one. Have a good one. Round one.